In news from Jamaica, one government agency is taking a bold step to address some of the inappropriate practices in the workplace. The Urban Development Corporation, UDC, has crafted two strict policies to ensure its employees are safeguarded from discrimination and sexual harassment. We have more from Tanika Thomas. It's a real challenge in the work environment. The issue of sexual harassment and discrimination against employees with disabilities. And one public body isn't shying away from the truth. We are sometimes in a state of denial. Now, we say that sexual harassment doesn't take place at any workplace in Jamaica. That's denial. And we say that persons with disabilities, that they are treated uh, in the same manner as able-bodied, not so. Not so at all. And so when we launch these policies. It is a recognition of the reality and a commitment by the UDC to ensure that this corporation is alert to both sexual harassment and to the treatment of the disabled. Recently, the Urban Development Corporation, UDC, launched two far-reaching policies addressing two inappropriate practices affecting the workplace, sexual harassment and the poor treatment of the disabled community. UDC Chairman Senator K.D. Knight explains that the disability policies call for an equitable work environment, free from discrimination, and one which grants access to all persons, including those with disabilities. Likewise, the guidelines propose that all sexual harassment cases must be dealt with confidentially to ensure that both the accused and the complainant's safety and privacy are protected. And it is not just about a set of words in a booklet. It's not. Because apart from setting out what is expected, it sets out if what is expected is not adhered to, there are sanctions. There are sanctions. So that the management must now look to see that the policy is not sterile, that it comes alive at the workplace and that persons who would um, dare to act against the policy and breach the policy will recognize that they will be subjected to sanctions. As it relates to sexual exploitation in the workplace, Senator Knight says the motives and appearances can be subtle. He argues that males are no longer the sole culprits. Those who practice it are very deceptive and they do so as if they are artists. It is not sometimes generally recognized, but it is subtle and it is there. And you know, we tend sometimes to think of sexual harassment as male on female. But it is also female on male. And it comes also male on male and female on female. So our eyes must be open to recognize it and to deal with it. Because persons at the workplace must progress on merit. And they must not be kept down because of the idiosyncrasies and awful behavior of others. And one person who's a fay with the day-to-day -day challenges of the disabled is the country's first visually impaired Senate President Floyd Morris. He notes that the country has come a far way and has acceded to international labor laws. I am certain that we are going to be seeing the policy of UDC being implemented and reflected in our towns and cities across the island. And it stands ready. 
it stands ready to bring about significant benefit to local persons with disabilities first, but also there's a spin-off effect in that Jamaica can now look towards marketing, marketing itself as a tourist-friendly disability destination. In 2014, Jamaican legislators passed the Disability Act ensuring the welfare of persons with disabilities. Legislation is still in the pipeline to guard against sexual harassment. Tanika Thomas reporting for Scene Caribbean News.